Happy weekend, folks. This is your host, Mandeep, and uh, I'm going to bring you a new video today. And what we'll do today is um, discuss how to create a scan for um, stocks that are currently under TTM squeeze or stocks that uh, were in the squeeze phase and have recently fired, right? So which means they've actually broken out of their low volatility phase. Now, a long time back, I actually did a video where I talked through the basics of uh, TTM squeeze, uh, its fundamentals, uh, what is entailed in it, and I'll put a link uh, at the end of the video as well as uh, in the description so you guys can uh, take a look at your uh, in, in leisure if you haven't uh, seen what the fundamentals of uh, the TTM squeeze uh, are. So essentially, uh, to recap, there are two components to the TTM squeeze. It's the Bollinger Band, which is this uh, cyan, uh, you know, lines outside, or the, and and then inside you have the Keltner channels, which are, uh, you know, shown in pink color. Now, we have a squeeze, um, you know, happens when the Bollinger Band strike you know, get inside the Keltner channels, like this particular phase where the Bollinger Band is inside the Keltner channel. Now, if you <clears throat> want to know a little bit basics about this, uh, both of them actually use a 20-period simple moving average, and the uh, Bollinger Bands are essentially two standard deviations on either side of the mid-band, right? So these are two standard deviations on either side. And if you look at the Keltner channels there, um, basically, uh, you know, two times the average true range, right? So average true range is what the stock typically moves average over a certain, you know, period. So let's say you average ATR over a 14 period average, it'll give you what is the average high and low of the stock. So the Keltner channels are two ATRs on either side of the 20 period, uh, 20 period moving average, right? You know, one of the ways people use Keltner channels is actually even a, a stop loss. If you're day trading, then you can essentially find stocks um, that once they hit their Keltner channels, which means they've hit two times their um, ATR range, it's a good place to put um, a stop loss or take the trade off, All right? So uh, I could do one of the two things, which one is I could simply give you the scan, right? And um, so if I simply give you the scan, then you wouldn't, you know, learn anything out of it. And if you want to create any variations of this, um, or um, you want to trade uh, the the TTM squeeze in multiple time frames, uh, you will not you will not understand how the the basics are done. So instead of giving you the scan, I'm going to follow the the old adage, which is uh, give a man a fish and you know feed him for a day, or teach a man how to fish and feed him. Uh, for a lifetime. So let's do the latter where we will uh, take a look on how to create the TTM squeeze scan uh, from scratch. Okay, so without further ado, so we go into the scan and uh, what we'll do here is we will uh, get rid of uh, this existing scan. We're basically going to reset this and we can actually take all of these out. So the first thing we'll do is uh, we're in the stock hacker tab and uh, what we'll do is we'll add a, a study filter here. So once we add a study filter, the <clears throat> default is always this ADX crossover and what we'll do is we'll click on the edit button and uh, inside of that there's yet another edit button. We're going to hit the edit again and uh, we'll click on this <clears throat> uh, selection part and we'll look for study and here you'll type in TTM. So once you have TTM, you'll look for this TTM squeeze, and there's a couple different options in it. So there's histogram, there's uh, volume comp, and there's squeeze alert. What we want is the squeeze alert. So essentially our goal is to find all the stocks that are currently in the squeeze phase, right? So, so let's uh, select that. And uh, so basically what you want to look at is the, all the stocks where the squeeze alert is currently false, right? So is false and you know within one bar and you just save it so essentially what you have is this is giving you um, any stock when you run it on a daily time frame where it's actually in the squeeze phase so what we want to do is we want to find stocks that have been actually in the squeeze phase for at least six days um, in the past and uh, and today right the most current day the squeeze is fired right the easiest way to do it is you go into the script editor and uh, you know to go one day back all you have to do is use the parenthesis uh, or the square open bracket and uh, put one here 
and what this gives you is that uh, so one day ago so let's say <clears throat> if we were looking at this on Friday which means this Thursday squeeze is false but we want to go back six more days so what we'll do is we uh, you know cut and paste this code and we'll go from uh, and TTM squeeze and I will I wish it didn't do this part, but we'll get through this and we'll keep going and then I'm going to fix it in a little time how we do this and we need the six days at least. So let's go back. So it's one day. Now we're going to go back two days. We're going to back, go back three days. Um, we're going to go back four days. We're going to go back five days. We'll go back six days, right? So what this is saying is for the past six days, right, not including the um, current day, uh, the, we want to look for stocks that are currently in the squeeze phase, right? And lastly, what we'll do is we'll look for... Uh, stocks which in the current day or the most current day the TTM squeeze is actually true right so I've missed this part is false needs to be in all of these as well So now, so we, we've got this basic code set up now. So T TDM squeeze alert uh, for the past six days is false, right? Which, which means it wasn't the squeeze phase. And then the most current day, it's actually true. And we'll just for now try and identify stocks which are um, squeezing on the daytime frame. Okay. So in addition, let's add a couple other study filters. What we want to do is we want to also look for stocks which have an average true range of at least uh, 1.5. So what basically that means is uh, they move at least, you know, 1.5 1. points higher or lower on an average in the day. So that's that. And let's add one more filter. We basically want to look for stocks which have a decent liquidity, right? So we'll say average and volume for the last 30 days average volume in the last 30 days is greater than 600, 1, 2, 3, 600,000, right? So let's just click on this and we are scanning in all stocks. We've got this basic uh, thing constructed and let's just hit on the scan button and see what do we get. So hopefully it should uh, populate with uh, a certain number of stocks and these are stocks that are currently, um, they were in the squeeze phase but have now fired and <clears throat> we'll go back and take a look at it. So what you can do with this is now you can essentially you can uh, save this scan. Save this scan. Let's just call it TTM squeeze so you can use it every day. Right? So let's just save this here. Now let's just go into the watch list here and uh, start looking for that uh, list that we have. So we have a TTM squeeze in the, uh, right here. So we'll you go back into the charts and it'll take a few seconds. And once this <clears throat> populates, we can take a look at exactly uh, what, what what is happening with these stocks. So most of them should look something like this, right? So this is a good this is an example of it, right? So when you have these red dots, it shows this stock was uh, in a squeeze phase, and then on the last bar or the most current bar, this TTM squeeze fired, right? So what this means is when they, they are in the squeeze phase, it's actually in a low volatility phase. There's a volatility contraction. And um, typically when you have this con contraction, it's uh, followed by a time where you get, uh, you know, high vo volatility. The stock tend to move um, in one direction or the other, right? So, so now this is great because we actually got a very small list here. And let's take a, a quick look at each one of them. So it's work day, as you can see. Uh, same thing happened here and uh, you know these uh, all of these stocks basically were in this squeeze phase right uh, from uh, you know longer than six days and then the squeeze mode actually fired here in this case let's look at uh, COUP as well 
and uh, all of them will have you know the same characters so i like this kind of uh, a stock where it was actually in this uh, low volatility phase for an extended period of time because when they are in that extended uh, sort of uh, period of time the likelihood of them you know moving higher is significantly more right so as you can see it was sort of in a chop phase and one of the things you don't want to do during this time is actually take a trade right because uh, this is basically chopping around especially if you are an option then uh, you're sitting and losing premium. Now this thing is fired. Now whether this turns into a long time, you know, upward movement or, or you know, downward movement, only time will tell. But you know, at least you've been able to quickly create something um, which have uh, you know a phase where the TTM you know squeeze is actually fired. So here's yet, yet another example of it, right? So anyway, so this stuff uh, you know is. Uh, or basic stuff, this actual indicator is uh, a standard indicator called the TTM squeeze. You can just in install it from your study. The basic Keltner channel and the Bollinger uh, charts, again, are part of the study, and you can just install and use it. Now, what you can do is you can also uh, look for stocks that are currently in the squeeze phase. So again, I'll show you the code for this, which is very straightforward, same except like for one line difference, right? So it's exactly the same code. But if you click here, you'll see that everything is false, right? So even this is the most current day. So I'm saying, you know, it passed six days, it's false, and even today is false. So which means they're still in the squeeze phase. So let's take, take a look at a couple of these examples. So in this case, what you'll see is, uh, um, yeah, it, it, it's actually in the squeeze phase, right? So this is not the kind of thing you will trade. Now, of course, at some point in time, uh, it will fire and once it fires it'll actually show up in this list automatically right because this says show me all the stocks where uh, on the most current day the TTM squeeze is actually fired so once this comes into this these become viable can uh, candidates for you know going long or short uh, as well so I'll show you a couple other things that uh, I have and those are actually not uh, free but actually paid studies that uh, if anybody's interested they can find them um, on my website. So one of the things I'll show you is uh, the signal which is called the uh, MSB TTM squeeze and I'm going to add that here and uh, fly. Okay. So what this is going to show you is that uh, the TTM squeeze but it shows that you simultaneously on multiple time frames right so when you're looking at the daily chart so this is the top one is the daily chart two day three day and a week so essentially what it is showing you is that there's a squeeze going on in the daily time frame but there's no squeeze on the higher time frame so when this squeeze fires this becomes a really good candidate because you're not constrained by the higher time frames right so there's two ways to do it either you flip the chart to two day three day week and look or you know if you have this particular indicator then you can quickly look at it uh, at one go so now let us look at uh, some of these charts and in this case you will see so these were in the the squeeze phase now for work day you'll see that the day um, time frame it is fired but two day and three day are still uh, in, in the squeeze phase so if the higher time frame is in a squeeze phase you, you might get constrained by that right so this is an information that you can see by merely looking at one time frame but when you have multiple time frames you can take a look at this now let me show you one other thing and another study we're going to add which is also part of the same study that I showed in the bottom uh, and that's we're going to look at it on the five minute chart right and what we'll do is we'll switch to the five minute chart and we'll go through a couple examples what this will show you is at the bottom when you look at the TTM squeeze it's actually showing you uh, you know just one two three four five time frames but at the at the top when it uh, when a particular time frame is in the squeeze mode it'll just show that up so again this one is clear in other words there's no time uh, period on which we have a squeeze currently going on right so let's look at a couple examples here but we know at least uh, there's a we have uh, a squeeze going on on um, you know some time frames here let me make sure i added the right uh, study uh, and i didn't so let me do that again uh, squeeze on the five minute add selected yeah apply and hit okay so as you can see immediately you notice that on this particular stock there's a squeeze going on at the 30 hour and on the day right so this is not one of the candidates that you want to take for long position 
right? Because uh, you ideally you want stocks that are not squeezing on any time frame, right? So this has uh, uh, you know somewhat similar characteristics, you know, squeezing on the day, squeezing on the week, right? So what you can see here at the bottom, you you will always find four different time frames. So this one is five minute, this one is ten, this is fifteen and this is 30. So it's not squeezing on, on the shorter time frames, but it's squeezing on the day and on the week. So, you know, if you're trading it on the short time frame, you're going to be fine, right? But if you trade this on a higher time frame like the day, you know, there's a squeeze on the day and the week, and that actually might constrain the movement of the stocks, right? And so, so this, uh, uh, these two indicators, you know, that we have these ones and these, these are uh, not free, and they're actually paid indicators that are available on, this, uh, on my site for download. But everything else is essentially available um, as part of the Thinkorswim platform, right? Um, a lot of other people are, um, who are actually in my Discord room also use what's called uh, the ultimate trading strategy, which is this particular signal. It's a trading strategy where you get automated buying and selling um, on a, 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 any stock, right, on any different time frame. And a few stocks that we actually took on, <clears throat> you know, in, in, in the room were, uh, um, you know, were, was, they're actually cited here. So one of them was um, actually Amazon. And uh, let me see if I, uh, so this is a, this is, I called this out in the room actually before taking it. So you can see it was trading about 1922 when the signal was fired. And uh, the other one will align, which also made a very nice profit, about 1800 for the day. And I'll show you how those actually panned out. So this is when the trade actually triggered using the ultimate trading strategy on the five-minute chart. And, you know, you went from roughly 19, whatever, 24 to about 1947. So this actually triggered three trades in the, in the past three days, right, from actually four days, from 422 to 426. Let's take a look at how some of the uh, other ones performed. So this was... Another buy that got triggered at 1887 to 1927 and basically happened just sort of in one day. And uh, there was one more trade that uh, happened here as well, which was a winner 1862 to about 1889. So these were all uh, winners. And if we traded about uh, 100 stocks, which I know is expensive, but uh, just for uh, the compute purposes, if you took 100 stocks, three trades from 422, you did about 6,000. Uh, in profit in about four days. So now, you, you know, if you trade 20, you can actually do the math for it. And uh, so this, this strategy obviously works on um, any 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 time frame. We can also look at uh, certain stocks here. So these are the ones on which the, the, you know, squeeze is fired and we can look at it on the daily chart as well and see how they actually perform. So there was a last buy that triggered at 158 and it closed at 191 here. Um, then we can look at some of, some of these other stocks. And here's a buy that triggered at 71 and closed at 93. Uh, let's look at Twilo and see if there was a buy. Yes, there was a really good buy that triggered at 93 and closed at 128. So hopefully this gives you a little idea about how uh, the ultimate uh, trading strategy works. There's a number of uh, videos on the website as well. And uh, if any of you are interested, you can also uh, send me an email and I'll send you an invitation to the Discord room. But, you know, so what I wanted to do really here was actually show you how to create a scan for TTM squeeze. Now, what you can do is you can also create any kind of a variation to this, right? So, for example, in this case, let's say instead of, you know, you don't want to uh, trade on, on the daily time frame and you can switch it and say, you know, give me every stock for 30 minutes, right? So any stock that's actually squeezing on the 30 minute that is just breaking out. So you'll be able to identify those stocks from a day trading perspective. So hopefully this helps and um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.